Welcome to KioWare University, where we cover the ins and outs of using KioWare to its fullest potential. Today, we are reviewing debugging browsing access lists. With browsing access lists configured, you may notice some features of your web application do not work. This is because when using browsing ACL, you also need to add any external resources your site relies on to the allow list. If there are certain features of your site not functioning, you can find out what KioWare is blocking with a few quick steps by navigating to Security, followed by Browsing Access. These are your currently allowed domains. To find the domains being blocked, you'll need to enable some extra logging. Make sure show block message and show URL in block message are checked. If you also want the message logged to the Windows Event Viewer, the log blocked matches will do that as well. As you'll see, when you click a blocked link, KioWare will now log the web address that it's blocking. This message will go away after a few seconds unless you click it. If you are logging blocked matches to the Windows Event Viewer, you can also view them there later. Be sure to then add the blocked sites to your allow list to give users access. Once taking note of the sites that need to be added and adding them to your allow list, be sure to disable the blocked messages unless you want users seeing them. As you can see, the blocked website is now working properly. This method is good for troubleshooting your blocked pages and getting everything configured properly. If you are using a browsing access list and need to allow access to your local drives, you can do that as well. However, when possible, we recommend instead using your KioWare user data directory as this option has numerous benefits. If you still need to allow KioWare access to your local drives, you can do that by adding a new browsing ACL entry by navigating the following menu. New Domain Make the domain caret dollar sign. Make the type regex. Make sure all pages are allowed. With that ACL entry added, KioWare will no longer block resources or pages stored on your machine's local folders. Thank you for watching KioWare University. Remember to check out other lessons for more features that allow you to take full advantage of KioWare.